This is truly a historic day. By ending money bond, we've taken a significant step forward. This is truly a historic day and a day I am proud to be Cook County State's Attorney, having worked alongside the Cook County stakeholders uh, for years, as well as the Coalition to End Money Bond in their relentless pursuit to ensure that we had a criminal justice system that was fair and equitable. Today's ruling by the Illinois Supreme Court affirms what those who have been on the front lines of this movement for the last 10 years have been saying all along, that our system that previously was based on wealth base and not on public safety could no longer stand. Today's ruling allows for determinations on pretrial detention to be made on a person's risk of harm versus their ability to access cash. That is historic. Illinois becoming the first state in the nation to ensure that money is not the determinant of one's risk to community is one for which we should be proud. Here in Cook County, the stakeholders led by President Preckwinkle, as well as our, our public defender, Sharon Mitchell, our Ju Chief Judge Evans and others have been working over the last two years to ensure that when this became the law of the land, we would be ready. And I want to assure the people here in Cook County uh, that we are in fact ready, that the Cook County State's Attorney's Office stands prepared to ensure that our communities are safe, just, and equitable. Today's ruling, ensuring that we will no longer criminalize poverty, disenfranchise communities simply because of their lack of cash, and focus on keeping those who cause harm to our communities accountable is a historic, historic day. I'm incredibly proud and thankful to the Coalition to End Money Bond, again, for their relentless pursuit, for our legislators who, in the face of withering criticism and political tactics, continue to hold firm, and for my fellow colleague, State's Attorney Eric Reinhardt from Lake County, who, when we were one of two, he was one of two of us who stood in the face of misinformation and disinformation, and I will not allow the moment to pass to say that it was other state's attorneys and sheriffs and others in law enforcement who sought to, to stand in the way of the implementation of this law. And that the fact of the matter is out of 102 state's attorneys, there were only two who said that this was the right thing to do. In doing so in a political climate that made it uncomfortable, in a political climate that was rooted in language that was, as, as a prosecutor, one uh, was ashamed of, this moment, standing on the right side of history, is one that in my tenure as state's attorney, I am significantly, significantly proud. Good morning, everyone. This is a great day. By ending money bond, we've taken a significant step forward in dismantling a criminal justice system that disproportionately impacts our black and brown communities. The use of money bond has perpetuated systemic racial injustice and exacerbated the inequities faced by communities of color. So today's ruling is a true testament to the tireless efforts of our criminal justice offices, elected officials such as Senator Peters, advocacy groups, and community stakeholders. In particular, the entire coalition to end money bond, all of whom have fought to bring us here today and have been tremendous advocates in this fight. Together, we've engaged in an unprecedented collaborative process to prepare for this transformative moment. We stand united in our support of, a courts, of court system stakeholders as they move forward with Pretrial Fairness Act reforms, ending money bond, and implementing a pretrial process rooted in equity and community safety. And my administration stands ready to provide resources and counsel where we can be of service. Thank you all.